Hello friends, so this is the fourth question related to Norton uh, equivalent circuit determination in circuits uh, where there is a dependent source. Okay, so we have to find the Norton equivalent circuit across the terminals A and B. Okay, so here this is the dependent source. Okay, this is a voltage dependent voltage source and this is the circuit variable which is very important the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor okay so we have to find a Norton equivalent circuit means Norton current and Norton resistance okay so first Norton current for that we have to short circuit these two terminals okay so redraw the circuit to V0 20 ohm we have this and then we have this the short circuited path this is iron okay this is 3 ampere now our objective is to find iron so here if you notice this is the uh, circuit and uh, here iron current let's say it is flowing here it is 3 ampere it is going and this is i n minus 3 now here v0 is equal to 10 into i n minus 3 this is an important equation 10 into i n minus 3 now if you look at this uh, whole circuit you will find that uh, this whole thing we can redraw it in this way so that it becomes simple okay okay 20 ohm 2 v0 this is 3 ampere and this is V0 the 10 ohm resistor so this is the whole thing okay it's I n and here also it is I n so this is the way we can redraw the whole circuit okay so now this is a current source in between these two closed loops so this becomes a super mesh okay this whole thing this so if you want you can check the video related to super mesh super mesh and super node so this is the whole super mesh two closed loops with a current source in between so if we apply kvl in this super mesh okay if we apply kvl in this super mesh we will get okay so this is in and this is in minus 3 okay in minus 3 if we apply kvl in the super mesh we will get starting from here 2 v0 minus 20 in in current is flowing through this 20 ohm resistor minus v0 which is 10 in minus 3 okay minus v0 we substitute directly minus 10 into in minus 3 this is equal to 0 that implies 
2 v 0 which is again if we substitute here also v 0 we write 2 into 10 i n minus 3 minus 20 i n minus 10 i n minus 3 is equal to 0 ok. So, here we substitute v 0 as 10 i n minus 3 that implies 20 i n minus 60 ok here ok 10 i n minus 30 it becomes 20 i n minus 60 minus 20 i n ok here minus 10 i n plus 30 is equal to 0 this gets cancelled ok this is here minus 10 i n or we can say that implies minus 10 i n minus 30 is equal to 0 or ok minus 10 i n minus 30 is equal to 0 that implies i n is equal to 30 minus 30 by 10 which is equal to minus 3 ampere i n is equal to minus 3 ampere ok. So, this is the whole let me just bring it a little bit downwards ok this is the whole equation this is the KVL equation then we just simplified it minus 10 i n minus 30 is equal to 0 i n is equal to minus 30 by 10 i n is equal to minus 3 ampere we got ok this. So, we have got i n now we have to determine R n. So, we have determined uh, I n and we got I n as minus 3 ampere. So, now we have to determine R n. So, for that what we have to do we have to deactivate this independent current source which means open circuiting it then we have to connect an external excitation be it a 1 volt voltage source or uh, a 1 ampere current source and then we have to find R n ok. So, let us do that. So, two V 0 20 ohm ok. Uh, this is minus v 0 10 ohm and this is open circuited the current source is open circuited and then we will connect a 1 volt voltage source and let the current from it is I 0. So, here our objective is to find I 0 and R n can be calculated as 1 volt by I 0 which is in ampere and that will be give us required amount of Norton equivalent resistance. So, here the first thing that we have to do is to establish an equation for this voltage the important variable the dependent variable. So, here you see the polarity which is mentioned for this 10 ohm resistor it is in this way V 0, but the current which we have assumed to be flowing from this 1 volt voltage source it is in the opposite direction. Now, you know that current always flows from positive to negative polarity ok in the resistor and the voltage drop is given by I R. Now, here it is flowing in the opposite direction. So, here it will be in the form of the voltage drop will be negative. So, here V 0 is equal to minus 10 I 0 minus 10 I 0 that is the important equation V 0 is equal to minus 10 I 0. 
so now we'll write the kvl equation okay we'll try to bring the equation in the form of i0 so that we can easily calculate it okay so let us apply kvl in this way here starting from this side and we'll go so starting from 1 it is 1 here it is plus v0 which is minus 10 i0 okay 1 plus v0 which if v0 is equal to minus 10 i0 so it will be minus 10 i0 here the current which is flowing is in this way plus minus the same current i0 is flowing here it is minus 20 i0 here it is minus 2 v0 and which is minus 2 v0 which is minus 10 i0 okay this minus 2 v0 v0 we substituted minus 10 i0 which is equal to 0 okay that implies 1 minus 30 i0 plus 20 i0 is equal to 0 that implies 1 minus 10 i0 is equal to 0 or that implies i0 is equal to 1 by 10 ampere i0 is equal to 1 by 10 ampere so we substitute this value here rn is equal to 1 by 1 by 10 ohms which is equal to 10 ohm rn is equal to 10 ohm so in is equal to minus 3 ampere which we calculated rn is equal to 10 ohm so here don't get confused in this kvl equation i directly put the value of v0 is equal to minus 10 i0 in this whole uh, kvl equation starting from 1 1 it is plus v0 this minus 10 i0 which we just did here then again minus 20 i0 and instead of writing it minus 2 v0 minus 2 v0 for this i directly put the value of v0 here which we got minus 2 into minus 10 i0 because v0 is equal to minus 10 i0 so we got the value of i0 then we substituted it here and we got rn is equal to 10 ohm okay so this is the fourth question related to Norton circuit involving dependent sources.